looking for geodes. There's a rock show tonight, and I want to win best rock. Cool! Have you seen any geodes around here? They're kind of round or egg-shaped. Like these? They were up near the top of the volcano. Whoa! Look at all those. Hey, Gobi! I think I really found one this time. Over here! Ta-da! A geode. Well, it is egg-shaped, but I think that's because it's... An, an egg? egg. Uh-oh. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, did you say Tyrannosaurus Rex? Uh-huh. And I think she's calling for her mommy. Aw. Wait, what? I was hoping it was a dinosaur bone and there might be a whole dinosaur skeleton buried here. What's a skeleton? A skeleton is all the bones together. You can get a good idea of what a dinosaur looked like by looking at its skeleton. What do dinosaurs look like? Let's think about what dinosaurs looked like. Some dinosaurs had really sharp. Teeth, like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Roar! <coughs> Don't worry, Dima. Dinosaurs aren't around anymore. That's right. Dinosaurs haven't been around for a long, long time. Some dinosaurs were really small. And some dinosaurs were really... Big! Well, that's right. Some dinosaurs were enormous. And some dinosaurs had really long... tails. That's right, like the Apatosaurus. Dinosaurs lived a long time ago. A long, long time ago, before cavemen were around, there were giant dinosaurs everywhere, and their footsteps shook the ground. Some had plates, some had scales, some had horns, or enormous tails. Some could swim, some could fly, and we never had a chance to say bye. Bubble Rock City, a cave boy and his pet dinosaur were getting some exercise. <laughs> Come on, boy! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Easy, boy! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> It isn't my favorite puppy, Saurus. Hi, Tima. Hi there. Trained him to do any new tricks lately? Yeah, watch this. Catch the ball, boy. Aww. Good 
try. Maybe next time. That's okay, boy. We just need to do a little more training. Training is when you practice something over and over again until you get better. And if you keep training, I bet you could even be a tough warrior someday. Tough warrior? What's that? <gasps> What's a tough warrior? Check it out. Bubble Rock City! The Tough Warrior Race is coming to Bubble Rock Coliseum tomorrow! It's the toughest race in prey history! And the winning dinosaur will be named Tough Warrior! Tough Warrior! If you think your dinosaur has what it takes, then come on down to the Bubble Rock Coliseum today! Tough Warrior! I should totally sign up. Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Bubble? <laughs> hey, wait up, boy! <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two prehistoric police officers. Try Ceracops. Cops are police officers. Try Ceracops. This is police headquarters. Please monitor dinosaur speed on the expressway. We're on it. <laughs> It's our job to make sure that none of the dinosaurs are speeding. Speeding means going too fast. And that isn't safe. We'll use our police radar to see how fast the dinosaurs are going. The speed limit for this road is seven. That means seven is the fastest the dinosaurs are allowed to go. That's right. And if we see numbers that are more than seven, that means the dinosaurs are going too fast and someone could get hurt. Here comes a dinosaur. That dinosaur's speed was three. That's not more than seven. Three is less than seven. That dinosaur is obeying the law. Here comes another one. That dinosaur is going six. Is six more than seven? No. Right. Six is less than seven, so he's okay, too. <laughs> Whoa! That dinosaur is going nine. Is nine more than seven? Yeah! Yeah, nine is more than seven. That means he's speeding. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> we have to get him to slow down. Attention, T Rex! Pull over! You're going too fast! <laughs> oh no! If he doesn't slow down, he's going to run straight into the tar pits! <laughs> 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 Don't cry, dinosaur. We'll help you out of there. You will? Of course we will. Now please watch your speed, sir. Why were you going so fast? Well, I got new sneakers, and now I can run really fast. Maybe it was too fast. When you go too fast, it's not safe for you or for anybody else. And it's against the law. Just stay within the speed limit next time. The numbers on these signs will tell you. Thank you, officers. You're welcome. So the T-Rex learned to slow down, and they all lived happily ever after. There were two prehistoric construction workers who lived in the Happy Valley of the Dinosaurs. hot in Happy Valley today, and that doesn't make us very happy. I wish we could go swimming. I have an idea. It's called a swimming pool. All we have to do is dig a really big hole and fill it up with water. I think we're going to need some help digging that hole. So the construction workers went to find some help. Constructosaurs! 
This is a Pushosaurus. They're good at pushing boulders and dirt out of the way. And these are Digosaurus. They're really good at digging. So the Pushosaurus is pushed, and the Digosaurus dug. But before they could finish... That was a close one. Yeah, and all of our Constructosaurs ran away. We better go get them back. So the construction workers went to get back their Constructosaurs. Uh-oh, our Constructosaurs are all mixed up. We need your help. We have to figure out which ones are pushing dinosaurs and which ones are digging dinosaurs. Help us put the dinosaurs in the right groups. This dinosaur has big jaws, so it should go in the digging group. And this one has a big head, so it should go in the pushing group. Does this dinosaur belong in the digging group or the pushing group? Digging! The digging group! Yes, the digging group. Which group does this dinosaur belong in? Pushing! The pushing group! Right, the pushing group. Last one. Which group does this one belong in? Digging or pushing? Digging! The digging group, right. Our constructosaurs are all in the right groups. Got a hungry dinosaur? Well, come on, the drive throughs open. Welcome to Diva's Dinosaur drive through May I take your dinosaur's order, please? Hello. I've got a hungry dinosaur in the back. <coughs> Would he like the carnivore combo or something from our herbivore combo? What does that mean? Carnivores eat meat and herbivores eat plants. You can tell if a dinosaur is a carnivore or an herbivore by looking at its teeth. Sharp teeth are good for chewing meat, and flat teeth are better for chewing plants. I'll be right back. Open up, big boy. Say, ah! Uh. Let's see. Does this dinosaur have sharp teeth or flat teeth? Sharp. I'll say this T-Rex has really sharp teeth because he eats meat. Carnivore combo! It's <laughs> 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 you, it's you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello, may I take your dinosaur's order, please? My dinosaur is really hungry. <laughs> Carnivore combo or herbivore combo? Hmm, I don't know. Just a moment. Here, girl. Open wide, girl. <laughs> Does this dinosaur have sharp teeth or flat teeth? You're right. This dinosaur has flat teeth, so she eats plants. You're an herbivore, aren't you, girl? Mm -hmm. Your dinosaur eats plants. Herbivore combo! <laughs> Thank you! Now let's get out of here before the T-Rex gets us. Uh, I don't think that noise is the T-Rex. It's the volcano. It's about to erupt. Wait, what? 
Erupt means smoke and hot lava come out of the top of a volcano. Gil and Bubble Puppy finally got a geode when the volcano started to erupt. Lava! Let's get out of here! T-Rex can get to her baby. We need to find a rock that goes here. Which one of these rocks has square sides? That one, right there. Right, this rock has square sides. It's a cube. Now we need to find the rock that fits here. Which one of these rocks has sides shaped like rectangles? One right there. Yeah, each side is a rectangle. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I'm coming, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you for saving my baby, boys. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Do you still think we can make it to the rock show? The rock show? Is that today? We gotta get going. Hop on, boys. I'll get you there in no time. Come on, baby. Yeah! The construction workers finished digging the hole for their swimming pool and filled it with water. Let's go swimming! <laughs> but guess who came back again? The Gigantosaurus! Not happy! Hey! Leave us alone! Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, Gigantosaurus? I want to go swimming too! You do? <laughs> we thought you were trying to get us. <laughs> I'm hot! You can come swimming too. Really? Of course. of course! So the construction workers invited the Gigantosaurus to go swimming too. Oh. Happy! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. The only thing left is Volcano Mountain. You ready to get back out there? You look really tired. We need your help. Bubble Puppy Saurus needs to take a break. Should he brush his teeth, drink water, or run around? Drink water. 
That's right. Some cool water will give him the energy to finish the race. Thanks for your help. Here you go, boy. Oh, looks like Bubble Puppy Saurus is taking a break. What about Boom Boom? Boom Boom, would you like some water? Oh, please. Boom Boom doesn't need water. And it's no water for Boom Boom. Not a great idea when you're exercising. Next up, the toughest of all the tough warrior obstacles, Volcano Mountain! I love when they do that. That looks incredibly difficult, huh, Zulu? It sure is, Gobi. Our contestants will have to climb each of these three walls. Whoever gets to the top first will ring the buzzer and win the race. <laughs> Close the door and keep the cold outside of our cave. Hey, Nani, will the door also help keep big, scary animals out of our cave? Yes, why do you ask? <laughs> Saber Tooth Tiger! Check the door! <sighs> that was close. Phew, yeah. Let's sit down and rest. We don't have anything to sit on. We need some furniture. So, the cave people went out to get some furniture. Just a little farther. <laughs> Saber-toothed tiger! That was really close. It sure was. But it's really dark in here with the door shut. We need something to let light into our home. You're right. Let's go find something. I think the coast is clear. Come on. So the cave people went to find something to let light into their cave. There's lots of nice stuff here. Thanks, man. We need to find something that will let sunlight into our cave. <laughs> Sabertooth Tiger! Uh-oh. We better get out of here. We need your help. What does our cave need to let the sunlight in? A picture, a fan, or a window? Yes, windows keep cold out, but let sunlight in. Okay, let's get these back to the... <laughs> Saber-toothed tiger! Phew, we made it. And we have our windows. 
Let's add them to our cave. Our windows look great. <laughs> he looks cold. Aww, poor thing. Excuse me, Mr. Sabretooth Tiger. Are you cold? <laughs> We just made a really nice home in this cave. Would you like to come inside? <laughs> Yay! All right! And so, the saber-toothed tiger moved into the cave people's new home. Thanks to these windows, our cave is nice and bright. <laughs> That's just what our new home needed. There were two cavemen actors who wanted to put on a play. If we're going to put on our play, we have to get to the cave stage. But the journey to the cave stage was very dangerous. Really? Yes, because of all the mastodons. Mastodons? A mastodon is like a hairy, stinky elephant. Yeah, and they like to stump on cavemen. Sounds dangerous. And so, the cave actors set off for the cave stage. But soon, they came to the tar pits, where they saw some mastodons hanging out. <laughs> mastodons! And look, there's the cave stage. Hey, have you stomped any cavemen today? Not yet, but if I see any, I'll definitely stomp on them. Sounds good. They're gonna stomp us! Hey, look over there, cavemen. Let's stomp them. <laughs> Looks like we lost them. Yeah, you want to go hang out? Okay. So the Mastodons went to hang out. That was a close one. But we still have to get past them to get to the cave stage to put on our play. But how? We are actors, right? Right. So if we can act like Mastodons, we might fool the real Mastodons. Then we can walk right past them without getting stopped. But how do we act like mastodons? We have to watch them and do what they do. Help us act like mastodons. Let's look at them. See their trunks? We need to swing our trunks, too. Put your arm out like this and swing it back and forth, like a mastodon. Back and forth, back and forth. Great! Now we need to sound like mastodons. Now you try it. Awesome! You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.